Okay, welcome to Shane's Main Shop. Today we are changing out the motor on Nathan's tractor. Uh, this is the snowblower motor. We're going to be taking that off, putting it back on the snowblower for winter, and uh, replacing the motor with this motor, which came off another snowblower that we ended up getting rid of. So, he'll still have his tractor for the winter, and I will have the snowblower back. So the interesting part I want to point out on this is the engine mount for this particular motor and hopefully the new one is actually made out of wood. So we have a wooden engine mount. So right now he's just unbolting the bolts so we can pull that motor off. And you can see we already have the belt removed from it. And we will get this back on the snowboard and then get his tractor back together so he has uh, his all running too. Well, that awfully looks different. How's it going, Nathan? Good. Almost back together? No. Alright. Then you can see we got the snowboard black back out here. And we will put that back on that. The only thing with that motor mount, it's double wall, so it's a very narrow spot to get into with a wrench to bolt it down. But once you get it bolted down, the only thing you have to do with it is every once in a while snug them up because the wood has little gives, so they do loosen up. But other than that, it works just fine. Try again. Now. Okay, because I don't like bending over, my back is not getting any younger. We will put the snow blower up on the lift. belts on because it's easier to do with the uh, motor not bolted up. I mean you can do it without it but since it's not bolted now's the time to do it. Okay you can see we got uh, all three of the belts on and by the way this is a garden way by Troy built and it's got a ten hoss to come some motor on it. So, belts are all back on, and now we're going to get the uh, motor bolted back down. Now you can see I got the um, bottom skid plate off from underneath, because uh, we got to go up through um, with the bolts up into the base of the, of the motor. Okay. So we'll get another one in that last hole, get it tightened up, and get the skid plate back on it. Be good to go.
Okay, so the motor's all bolted down. Now I gotta put the skid plate on. Um, and I find it easier. I mean, I have it up on the lift, so I don't have to bend down as much way down the floor, but you gotta get this slid way underneath. It hooks in, and then you have six bolts that have to go in it. And it's a little bit tight. There's not a lot of ground clearance, so what I'm gonna do is lift it up onto these, ouch, that was my head, four, uh, these two blocks here. And uh, that'll give me a little more space to reach underneath there. So as you can see, that uh, does give a lot more clearance. What I'm going to try and do is just get a couple of these little bolts in the front here to hold it. I would not tighten any of these up until you have them all started. All right, so that one's started. more here. We'll be good. Okay, we're gonna, we got all those in. We're gonna take it off the box and belt guide back on. It actually requires two, so we got the other one over there too. You gotta finagle this around a few things to get it to drop down in there. So there's a bolt in this corner and there's one in the other corner as well. On the other side. I don't have a nut driver up there, so I'll have to go my other toolbox. Remember to put your tools away so when you need them next time, they're here. I'll admit, I'm not the best at that. So we got a 3 8 nut driver. Move this back over here so you can see. Side. Put the other one well, in. Just so you know, the other um, bolt for the belt cover, you can just barely put it on with a nut driver. If this was longer, it'd be better. You have to go in kind of at a, a slight angle. Um, you could always do it with a small wrench. That would certainly work a little better. But I, would manage, I managed to get it on there. So we're going to just get this down off the lift and get it out because it's main but it's still just going to be September 1st here in a tomorrow actually it's a little early to worry about snow but I don't want to wait pretty spoiled when you put a snow blower up on an auto lift to work on it but hey why not saves doing a lot of bending over please Leave a comment, or if it's just a comment, like if you like, please subscribe. I do new channels just about every, I uh, new channels, new videos just about every week, and uh, on a multitude of topics, whether it's a snowblower, a car, in the wood shop over there, uh, even sometimes just some fun, funny videos, just for something to do. So, check back often. Thanks for swinging by Shane's Main Shop.